What's up everybody, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover Shopify email notifications and how you can customize them. These email notifications are extremely important to have tailored to your brand because these emails are the most opened by your customer. This includes emails such as the shipping confirmation, the order confirmation, refund confirmations. All these confirmation emails sent out by Shopify automatically are crucial moments to engage with your customers. Customers have a very high percentage of opening up these emails much greater than your marketing ones so you want to take this opportunity to communicate with them in a way that matches your brand and in a way that can increase your sales overall by nurturing that customer relationship but before we get into it i just want to quickly thank our sponsor discover profit calc the affordable and easy to set up shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click it automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. The way you customize your Shopify email notifications is if you go to your Shopify dashboard here, you wanna click on settings in the bottom left. Once you're in settings, you wanna click on notifications. And then from there, you're gonna get a list of emails in which you can customize. At the top here, you have order emails such as confirmation, your edited orders, order refunds. You even have things like abandoned checkout, which you might wanna replace with another app, but this is good for Shopify stores just starting out. You also have shipping notification emails, local delivery emails, customer emails, as well as return emails such as instructions or label printouts. If you want to go see what these email templates look like for your Shopify store at this point, you just want to click into one of them here. So I'm going to click on to order confirmation and you get the liquid template along with the text that you can edit. So if you want to see what this email template looks like, you can go to actions and you can click preview here and it's going to show you a preview of your Shopify email template. As you can see, there has been no changes made, and it's the basic template. In terms of basic customization, you can do things like edit the text. You can also go in and change some of the colors, such as here, you have the Shopify email accent color. You might want to grab the color code there and replace that. But overall, this can be a decently complicated experience unless you have experience with HTML and CSS. What I recommend is to use an email template builder. It's called Orderly Emails. It's available on the Shopify App Store and it's free to install and to try out before you go through with the purchase. And it is a one-time only purchase, and it's only $49. That can seem a little bit pricey out of the gate, but I assure you it's well worth it in the long run as it's only a one-time cost. And as you can see from these images, you get a lot of customization in terms of how you edit these emails. They provide a very easy online editor to do so, and you can really match those emails to your brand as well as cross sell different product using products from your store that import very easily into orderly emails. To go over the basic customization of this app, I've downloaded the app on my store here and I'm going to go over the customization options with you guys. You're going to be prompted with which theme to start out, so I'm going to click choose starting theme. It's going to bring us to the website and from there you get a list of pre-built themes to which you can customize. You can pick the one that matches your brand best. For me though, I'm just going to go with the basic theme on top as it's just going to give you a good overall layout in terms of how you can customize it. So I'm gonna click on start with New York. And as I said before, you can try all these templates and if you actually like how they look in comparison to the default templates before you buy it for $49. So I'm gonna select my language as English. Once that loads, I'm gonna go into the left and do some basic customization here. From the orderly emails dashboard, there are a few customization options in terms of how you change the layout of your emails. On the top here, you have a selector to select which email you want to edit. As you can see, they have like all the emails here which match which Shopify's email notifications. Once you select which email you want to edit, I'm going to do the order confirmation. You get the ability to select which section you want to edit and you can edit it further from there. The easiest way is to import your logo and your font size, your colors from your website. It's called the Magic Designer and that's probably the easiest options to start out. For now though, I'm just going to go over the basic customization options. So to start, there's the logo. I'm going to select a basic logo here to upload to the email. There it is. It's now uploaded. Once my logo is uploaded, I'm just going to decrease the logo size a little bit. And then I'm not going to add a URL here because it's going to already include the shop URL. That's going to lead to the website. So I'm going to leave that there. Then you also get the option to customize the typography. You get to choose the font size, the types of font, and which direction if it's going left to right or right to left. I'm going to leave these as the default. There's the ability to customize the colors, so the background color of the header, the text color, even the button styles as well. I might change this to a square and have it 
up here with no background so it's clear and a nice border that's going to look nice with this email theme there's the ability to customize the site links which is at the bottom so instead of shop i might just say shop now so that's going to customize what that looks like there just for the customers in terms of what they might want to click on after they get the order confirmation email something you might want to consider for the order confirmation email is to include links such as faq shipping times just to give the customer an idea of when they can expect their order there's also the ability to add social links on the bottom linking to your different social properties such as facebook twitter pinterest etc lastly here you have the store info so you have to put the correct address for your store here as per email regulations. There's also options to add different images or a different logo in the footer as well. So those are the overall theme settings that you can customize. What's really special about orderly emails is the ability to customize the complete layout with each section. Overall also makes it really easy to customize this and you get a real-time editor in terms of what you're doing on the website. So for example, if I wanted to move this divider, I can move it down here. There's the ability to add new sections, such as new headings, images, spacers, and recommended products. I'm going to edit this email too much, as that can take a lot of time, and you really want to be able to edit it directly to your website, so it can really match it there. But overall, it's a very easy thing to customize, and it really takes your emails a step further, as they're going to really match your website, and they're really going to emphasize your brand, and really makes it look like you care about all the pieces and aspects of the relationship with the customer. Once you're finishing customizing, you just want to click purchase. And what that's going to do, it's going to give you the liquid templates, which you can then copy and paste into your Shopify email notification section. It's going to give out the instructions for that as well. But it's basically going to be you copy the template, you go to your notifications in your Shopify settings, you click on the email that it says to copy to, and you're just going to copy and paste it in this section here, replacing the HTML body. Overall, that concludes the video on how you can customize your email notifications. Although this is a paid option, I believe it's going to be extremely beneficial to your Shopify store and it's going to really help nurture that relationship with the customer. As I said previously, these emails are the most important to customize as customers are going to open this on a very high open percentage basis in comparison to the rest of your email marketing campaigns. So you really want to make sure that it really matches your brand and it really shows the customer that you care about your relationship with them rather than using the default email templates. If you like this video, I'd love if you left a like below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.